What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. Today we're going to be teaching you how to set up global controller support within Windows on the Steam Deck. As many of you know, I have set up a dual boot configuration on my Steam Deck with Windows and Steam OS. I gotta say, I've been very happy with the results so far. I'm able to play all of my games that are in my library, whether they be in my Steam library or in other libraries, such as my Epic Games library or my Battle.net library, PC Game Pass, I'm able to play them all. However, one issue I did encounter when trying to play games outside of Steam is that the actual Steam Deck controller didn't work outside of Steam. So I did some research and I found a couple different methods to get the controllers to work in games outside of Steam. And today we're gonna be showing you the Glossy method. Glossy stands for Global Steam Controller and it's a way to get your Steam controller configuration to apply to games outside of Steam. By the way, guys, before we hop in, if you guys enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. So the first thing I want to do is show you exactly what happens when you try to play a game outside of Steam and you don't have Glossy set up the game is not going to see the controller. For example, here we have Call of Duty Vanguard. It does not detect our controller, our Steam Deck controller. So it's asking us to switch to keyboard and mouse. And now I'm gonna show you just how easy it is using Glossy to activate the Steam Deck controllers for any game outside of Steam. You hear that? That sound you just heard is the same sound you hear when you plug in a USB device into a computer. That's the sound that lets us know that our controller configuration has been loaded globally into Windows. And now you can see here we are in Vanguard. We're actually using the Steam Deck controllers to navigate the menu. Now I'll show you how to set this up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download Glossy. I'll have the link down in the description so you guys don't have to search for it. Once we have it downloaded, we'll go ahead and extract it and install it. I already had this installed before, so that's why we're seeing this. If you're installing this for the first time, you're gonna see something a little bit different. We're also gonna to wanna to install the Vigum bus driver. Now what you're gonna see here might be different from what you see because I already have the Vigum bus driver installed. So I'm just kind of going through the motions. I'm just going to click repair, but it's going to be a little different for you because you don't have it installed yet. All right. So before we proceed, the next thing we need to do, we need to make sure we have steam installed and at least one game. It doesn't matter what game it could be a small game. Just make sure you have at least one game installed. Otherwise you'll get an error message saying that glossy can't find the shortcut. This is what you should see when you launch Glossy for the first time. What we're gonna do is click on create new. We're gonna click on these uh, three dots right here. And then what we wanna do is go into our file system and we wanna locate notepad. And this is exactly how you do it. Go to windows, scroll down to where you see a, uh, you see a folder system 32 and then you're going to scroll down even more until you find the application called notepad 
Once you have Notepad, click Save. And then you want to click on this button here that says Add All to Steam. Shortcuts were added. Restart Steam now, etc., etc. Updating Steam, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you make note of this information here about the big picture overlay. Once Notepad has been added to Steam, what you're going to want to do is locate it in your library and then add it to favorites. Then that just makes it easier to access. Once you have it added to favorites, it'll be located at the top, easy to find. And then we just click on play and it'll launch it. And there's that sound again, letting us know that our controller configuration from Steam has been loaded globally. Now, once this is loaded, you may notice that your track pads on the Steam Deck no longer work. The touch screen will still be functional, so you can still open and close applications and move things around using the touch screen. You just won't be able to use the track pads. Hopefully this will be fixed in the near future. Personally, I've been using this handy dandy iClever keyboard with a mouse trackpad is foldable very portable you can even fit it in your pocket i'll probably show that off in a future video when i cover accessories regaining functionality of the trackpad is simple all you gotta do is go into your uh, steam settings go into in-game and you want to make sure that this right here is checked use big picture overlay when using a steam input enable controller from the desktop you want to make sure that that box is checked and what that'll allow you to do is press the steam button on the steam deck hit the exit shortcut button hit close and boom you'll have your trackpad functionality back working again all right so now that we've covered all of that let's go ahead and hop back into vanguard again for some bot gameplay yes i'm gonna be playing like a bot because I'm not able to hold the, the uh, Steam Deck at the angle that I would normally hold it at when I'm playing. So it's going to be a little bit awkward for me. And so the gameplay you're going to see is not going to be that good, but you'll be able to see that the controller is working, which is the whole point of this video. All right, guys, so there it is. 
Call of Duty Vanguard. As you can see, all the controls are working just as you would expect them to work with any kind of controller on a console or PC. So there it is. There you guys know how to set that up. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe for more, and we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Peace.